this line, or not these ones, these lines, <laughs> melted away all the fear I had before I started drawing. This past week or so, uh, I moved to a new place to help out my family, and there just wasn't a whole lot of time for drawing, so I had to take about a, a week off, and this was my first time getting into drawing, and as I was about to sit down and do it, my brain manifested fear in a really weird way, and that's what I want to talk about today. We're going to start this sort of new series of uh, fireside chats where you guys can watch me draw and we can talk about important topics. And today's important topic is fear. Uh, these will all be sped up so that you don't see just one drawing, you can see a bunch of sketches. Um, but maybe we can change it up too, so we'll see. But yeah, before I started drawing this, my brain started to say things to myself that were just so discouraging. Like, I, the fear didn't manifest itself in a way that you might think, like, oh, I'm scared to draw. It was... I don't want to do this, and I don't think I want to even draw anymore as a career. And the moment I put those first lines down and I had the courage to actually just go ahead and do it, it was a huge mindset shift. It was like it was like it was a joke. <laughs> My brain had tricked me into thinking I didn't even like the profession I was in because I was just so afraid of, you know, putting myself out there and making something. And it's crazy. I just don't think we, we realize how much our brain can really trick us into thinking we think certain things, but it's just fear. It's fear manifesting itself in different ways. And I think you really have to be prepared for that mentally so that you don't end up thinking that I hate this because later on you'll come back to it and be like I, I really did love this why did I stop um, and it had been a while because I've been pretty confident about my work or just my, my habit that I've been progressing with art and so it took me by surprise I legitimately thought for a second that I didn't enjoy it anymore and those first lines were so it was like pure joy I don't know if anybody's heard of, um, oh my gosh, what's the woman's name? Uh, Marie Kondo, where she gets people to, like if you're a hoarder, she gets people to get rid of their stuff. Uh, if you don't touch something and it doesn't bring you joy, then you're supposed to get rid of it. And this, the first line was like pure joy entered my system. It was, it was uh, an incredible feeling. It was... Both the fear was a weird feeling, and the freedom and joy that I felt was was an exhilarating feeling. Um, so my brain was definitely playing games with itself. And I think it's, it's just important to know for artists that it's a little crazy just how that happens. And how you have to constantly remind yourself that it's okay to be afraid to forgive yourself for these moments you know as a younger artist I might have not pushed past that point but I had I've started to develop a good habit and that's how you get past moments like this you know we're driven by our habits so even if you're afraid if you're just used to doing something you will still do it um, you know we eat junk food or we watch Netflix even when we know it's bad for us and we don't really feel like doing it we still do because we're driven by that habit so if you make drawing into a good healthy habit even when you feel fear which it will always sort of be there um, you'll get past it because your habits are stronger than the fear they run your your whole identity system and your your behaviors. So this is why I always talk about making good habits is such an important thing. 
And it seems like the world is picking up on that too, because uh, I get a lot of my information from James Clear. He wrote the book Atomic Habits, and he just announced that his book was the number one selling book in all cate categories on Amazon, um, which is crazy. Congratulations to him. But I want to bring that methodology and that uh, mindset to artists. I think it's something that's missing in the community is the power of that whole one percent improvements making a good habit people the biggest question that people always ask pretty much on every when artists do you know lives or events one of the first questions is always how do you stay motivated you know uh, people will say that they're afraid or that they just can't focus Making a habit, making those 1% improvements helps you get there. It's, it's simple but difficult. <laughs> the hard part, I think, is like believing in that whole mindset and actually giving yourself a chance to get started. When I was first starting out as an artist, I had trouble applying myself and... If I knew about this, maybe I would have stood a better chance. But, you know, showing up for yourself is the first step. And if you can't even do that, then how do you expect to consistently, consistently make the effort that you need to make to become an artist? It's just not possible. So those 1% improvements really work. I tried it the first time with exercising. And, uh, you know, you tell yourself you want to exercise and then you put it off, you put it off. And uh, maybe you do figure out, get yourself to actually do it once or twice. But everybody usually tries to do too much at once. They'll go for that 30 minute or hour long exercise and then they won't want to do it again. They didn't build up a habit, so they just end up stopping. Usually you see that around New Year's, right? Uh, if you've ever been to a gym after just after New Year's, it's crazy packed. <laughs> there are a ton of people, uh, and by the end of the month, it's back to the usual people. It's because all those people made the gym a healthy habit, and all the people who are just coming in there uh, as like a New Year's resolution were just there temporarily they were trying to do too much too soon they didn't turn it into a good habit you have to turn drawing into a habit and cultivate it and show up for yourself even if it means starting down at one minute or 30 second drawing <laughs> you showed up for yourself you proved to yourself that you can be there and by doing that over and over again you become the kind of person who's just always showing up to draw. And even if the fear creeps in, your habit is going to take you the rest of the way so that that fear doesn't bother you anymore. So just a thought on fear to leave you with, you know, um, and also a solution, which is to make a habit. So if you're struggling with fear, and you want to do something about it, start making a habit. And the first step for that is to start small. You can check out Atomic Habits if you want by James Clear. It's amazing. I think if you sign up for his email list, he'll even give you the first chapter for free. But the premise of it is just to start small. Choose a time and place where you want to do something and choose a length of time where your brain doesn't fight you on it. And like I said, sometimes you have to go really low. Maybe it might be just one 30 second gesture drawing, <laughs> but at least you show up and do that for yourself and you can then slowly do better over time. Thank you for joining me for a fireside chat and I will see you next time. Have a happy and healthy creative process.